Hey guys, what's going on, dude? It is David here. We are back on another video. Now, in this video, guys, we shall be doing a seven round mock draft for my team that is the Atlanta Falcons. Now, we're going to be going through all the picks that Atlanta, Atlanta Falcons have for the NFL draft. They have nine picks in total one first round, one second round, one third round, one fourth round, two fifths, two sixths, and that is it. Actually, no, three sixths. Yeah, but we'll get we'll get into that really quick. But of course, in the last video, I talked about when it came to the Atlanta Falcons. I said there's a possibility that they could be trading back and selecting cornerback Patrick Sertan in this NFL mock draft. I do not have the Falcons trading back. I do not have anything trading back. And we're gonna go through each of the Atlanta Falcons picks. I already did a mock draft off of the uh, the mock draft network, and I basically selected picks that the Falcons really need when it comes to the team needs. And there were some picks that were obviously favoritism because I am a Florida Gators fan. I mean, the first pick, up, the first pick off the board is going to be a Florida Gator. So, I mean that, I mean that kind of really gives it away to you. But anyway, guys, let's get into the Atlanta Falcons NFL mock draft. So, with the fourth overall pick in the NFL draft, the Atlanta Falcons will be selecting tight end Kyle Pitts. Out of Florida. This guy is one of the most generational talents that the NFL has ever had. He's probably the best tight end to come out of the draft in, in the past couple years. I mean, he's the best non-NFL quarterback. A lot of people have said that. Skip Bayless has said that. Stan Sharp has said that. Stephen A. Smith has said that. Max Kellerman has said that. This guy is a generational talent. And considering the Falcons don't really need a quarterback as of this current moment, why not get the best player out of the draft? and satisfy one of their tight end needs because Hayden Hurst is going into his fifth year option if, they, if the Atlanta Falcons pick him up, but they don't. That means he'll be playing, he'll basically be a free agent come next next off season. And if the Falcons really want a tight end that they can use with Arthur, Arthur Smith's offense, Kyle Pitts is the perfect option. At pick number two, sorry, not pick number two, round number two, pick number 36 in the second round of the NFL draft, the Atlanta Falcons will be selecting Joseph Osai, Edge from Texas. The reason why I went with this pick at number 35, is it 30, yeah, 35, is because the Atlanta Falcons really need a help on that defense. The defense was definitely the worst part of the Atlanta Falcons seen last season. They really need edge help. They're gonna need safeties, they're gonna need cornerbacks. Cornerbacks, edge, and probably safety, I probably think the Falcons are the most important needs. So this is the reason why I went with Joseph Osai. When I did the mock draft off the thing, he was the best edge that was still left available because Gregory Rousseau was there. But I do believe that Gregory Rousseau will be going before the second round. So I don't really think Gregory Rousseau is going to be there. Gregory Rousseau was there. Is Gregory Rousseau is going to be there? I would definitely take Gregory Rousseau on that Falcons defensive line. But I went with Joseph Osai, edge out of Texas. In the third round, pick number 68. The Atlanta Falcons are going to be selecting Dylan Moses, linebacker, Alabama. Is there really anything to say about it? I mean, we look at the the Falcons linebackers that they have. They got Deion Jones, who had an outstanding season this past season for that defense. They got Oakwan, who had a who had a breakout performance in the season for the Atlanta Falcons defense. But besides that, the Atlanta Falcons don't really have a de a good linebacker besides those two. So why not add a very decent uh, linebacker that came out of Alabama that was a part of the Alabama defense that helped them win the national championship? Dylan Moses, linebacker. I mean, you could, you, I mean, besides, I think he's probably at least a, the second or third linebacker. And if he's going the third round, then that's not, I mean, if he's going third round, then he's not really a second or third best linebacker, which means I, I'd probably say like fifth or sixth linebacker in terms of that options. But the Atlanta Falcons will definitely help on that linebacker linebacker position. And hey, if he if he performed decent on Atlanta, if you if you perform well on the Alabama defense, then he can perform well on this Atlanta Falcons defense and pair him alongside uh, Deion Jones and Okwan. And with this linebacker core has the potential to become a very very good thing for this Atlanta Falcons defense. In round number four, pick number one hundred eight, the Atlanta Falcons will be selecting quarterback. Kyle Trask out of Florida. This is the weirdest thing I've seen, but 
A lot of people I've seen have Kyle Chas not that very high up. I thought Kyle Chas was going to be at least a second or third round quarterback. But nope, Kyle Trask is projected to be a third or fourth round quarterback. And hey, when I hey, the, if he stay, if he lasts up until pit, round four, take him because he has the potential, and plus he has a very good relationship with Kyle Pitts. So imagine when Matt Ryan retires, he could just take over and then start tossing the balls, and maybe even Van Belkis, you know, like select the wide receiver next year from Florida. Then we got we, I mean, we got some we got some Florida Gators like teammates coming along together. Kyle Trask used to throwing the ball to Kyle Pitts. And if Kyle Pitts ends up staying with the Falcons, you know, like getting picked by the Falcons, if Kyle Pitts, uh, Kyle Trask is selected by the Atlanta Falcons, then he would, he, they would have a good relationship. And when Julio Jones does eventually retire, Kyle Trask's number one target would be Kyle Pitts and Calvin Ridley. So that would be a very good thing for Atlanta Falcons. So if he lasts until the fourth round of the, of the NFL draft, I'm going to take, I want the Atlanta Falcons to be taking Kyle Trask quarterback out of Florida. At round number five, pick number 148, the Atlanta Falcons shall be selecting Armbury Thomas, cornerback out of Michigan. Now, if I think, I think Marco Wilson, cornerback out of Florida, yeah, I'm not going, I'm not, I'm trying to not be as biased much when it comes to the Florida Gators. But I feel like the Atlanta Falcons do need a cornerback position because, like I said in the other Falcons video, AJ Terrell was definitely the Falcons' best cornerback. They added uh, Denar, uh, Don, uh, I forgot the guy's name. It's something Denard. Um, he used to play for, I think it's the Bengals. And then, uh, obviously, they had Isaiah Oliver and Kendall Sheffield. Isaiah Oliver was okay. Kendall Sheffield really did not have a good season. So the Falcons are going to need to have depth in that cornerback position. And this is why the reason why I go with Omri Thomas, cornerback out of Michigan. At number, at, in the fifth round, pick number 182 and 183 of the, of the NFL Draft for the Atlanta Falcons. They shall be selecting Kylan Hill, running back in the Mississippi State, and Sean Davis, safety out of Florida. The reason why I have them going running back in Mississippi State is running back is actually one of the latter team needs for them. I mean, they just released Edo Smith, so why not pick up another running back in the fifth round? I mean, you don't really have to be paying him that much. And who knows, Kylan Hill may have very good potential to become one of the best running backs in the NFL. We don't really know what to see, but I have the Atlanta Falcons selecting Kyle, uh, Kylan Hill at pick number 182 in the fifth round. And at pick number 183 in the next pick after that, I have them selecting Sean Davis. I mean, it's it's not really, it's basically explanatory. The Falcons need safety help. I mean, they, De, uh, DeMonte KZ, um, who's the guy from Florida? Uh, Keanu O'Neal, and then you got um, the Ricardo Allen, the guy that they released. So they lost three safeties, and they're gonna need to they're gonna need to have some safety. They're gonna need to have some young safeties because they just picked up a couple of experienced safeties. So, I mean, on one year deals. So. Why not pick up a young safety from Florida who has, who, who, who knows what, that could become a very good safety for the Atlanta Falcons. And that's the reason why I have him going at pick number 1A, uh, round, four, round 5 at pick number 183. In the 6th round, the Atlanta Falcons have 2 picks in the 6th round. At pick number 187, the Atlanta Falcons shall be selecting Denzel Okafor, tackle out of Texas. Let's take a look at the Falcons offensive line that they have so far. Left tackle, they have Jake Matthews. Left guard, they have... I don't really know what they have at left guard because center is going to be Matt Hennessy now that um, now that um, Alex Mack has left and gone to the 49ers. Right guard is going to be Chris Lindstrom and then right tackle is going to be Caleb McGrady. Unless they want to kick Chris Lindstrom to left guard and then play... Um, you know, actually, that would, that would probably be the best idea because... Um, uh, Caleb McGarry is a better guard than he is a tackle, so kick Chris, kick Chris Lindstrom to left guard, play Matt Hennessy at center, put Caleb McGarry at right guard, and then draft the tackle who can be this guy, Denzel Okafor, tackle from Texas, who can start straight away in that tackle spot, or he can gain some experience through the preseason, and then if he's a very good tackle for us, Start him at right tackle, and that Atlanta Falcons offense will, offensive line will be pretty young. And then their final pick of the sixth round, the final pick of the draft, 40 Atlanta Falcons at pick number 219 in the sixth round. I have the Atlanta Falcons selecting Mark Webb, safety out of Georgia. I've already explained this with the Sean Davis pick. The Atlanta Falcons lost three decent safeties for them. 
one day release, two day let go in free agency, and both of them went to the same team. KZ and Keanu Neal went to the same team, and they went to the same defensive coordinator. That was the reason why the Falcons was so bad this past season. So if they don't if they don't perform well in Dallas, I'm not going to be shocked. I'm not going to be shocked. But the Falcons definitely do need safety help, and this is the reason why I have them selecting two safeties and not a wide receiver with this final pick. Even though when I saw the team needs, the wide receiver was on there, but I mean, you have Gage, you have Julio, you have Calvin Ridley, and then you have Zacchaeus, so you really don't need, like, another wide receiver to add to the option. Uh, plus, they just got a, a kick returner, so the Falcons are going to be good when it comes to the offense and when it comes to the wide receiver. So in terms of the Atlanta Falcons' seven-round seven, seven round mock draft, round one, Kyle Pitts at number four. Round number two, at pick number 35, Joseph Osai, edge out of Texas. Round number three, Dylan Moses, linebacker. <clears throat> round three, Dylan Moses, linebacker out of Alabama. Round four, Kyle Trask, quarterback out of Florida. Round five, Armbury Thomas, quarterback out of Michigan. Kylan Hill, running back out of Mississippi State. Sean Davis, safety out of Florida. And then in round number six, Denzel Okafor, tackle out of Texas. And then Mark Webb, safety out of Georgia. So that is all the picks I have. That, oh, well, I think I, I think I, the Falcons should take in this upcoming NFL draft that will be taking place next Thursday. So I'll be definitely watching to see that first round. You'll probably definitely see a video when it comes to talking about the first pick that the Falcons have, which is going to be number four, unless they trade back. Well, I mean, you're still going to see a video about who they picked, and we'll see what happens then. But in terms of this video, that is it for the NFL mock draft for the Atlanta Falcons I have for you guys. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn on the bell notification so you know my videos go live. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.